Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the last episode, we made a low poly sword and I thought it'd be nice to make a low poly shield to go along with it. So let's check it out. So this is the shield we'll be making today. It's a basic shield, but a great starting point and the shape language of it, though simple, is always timeless and uh, never seems to get old. Now let's uh, jump right in and get started. All right, let's begin. Go up to your poly modeling shelf and add a plane into the scene. We're going to use this to make our shield. Press F to frame in on it, and let's reduce these subdivisions. So press T on the keyboard, and I'm going to make the width three and the height three as well. There you go. And now let's rotate this. Open up your channel box, and we'll rotate it 90 degrees in the X. There we go. And now it's facing the front direction, so tap the spacebar. Hover your mouse over the front view, tap the spacebar again, and now let's scale this a bit. We're going to rough out our shield. So um, we added a three for subdivisions. If we need more, we can add more, right? But this is a good starting point. And what I want to do next is I'm going to move some of these vertices around. Um, if you open up your modeling toolkit, at the top here, you can get to your component modes. Vertex selection is up here, but I'm going to use the marking menu. So I'm going to hold down the right mouse button and choose uh, vertex. And before I move any of the vertices, let's turn on symmetry. So X symmetry is going this way. And we need to just go up to here and choose either object X or world X. I'm going to choose object X. And then I'm going to move some of these vertices a little bit. Go. And this one I'll move down. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. And I think something like this looks fine. I'll move these down a little bit. There you go, that should look fine. Um, next, what I wanna do is extrude this outside edge to make a rim for the shield. So let's go into edge mode. Again, you can use your component uh, modes from up here, or sorry, get to your component modes from up here. I'm gonna use the marking menu. So I'm gonna hold down the right mouse button and choose edge. And I'm gonna double click this edge and click extrude. And I'm going to give this a little bit of an offset. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go back to our perspective view. So tap the space bar. And now I'm going to go into object mode. And let's take a look. So here's our shield. It needs some thickness. So select it. Uh, make sure you're in object mode. And then click extrude. And we can just pull this arrow out a little bit. All right, I think that looks fine. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll bring it in. A little bit ah, should be fine all right um, what I want to do now is extrude this front section on the side as well as over here so let's hold um, select this face hold down shift double click this one and we'll do the same over here and then just click extrude and let's give this a bit of thickness um, I'm holding down the um, control key and dragging this so that it doesn't move too quickly and if you want, you can hold down Control and Shift and drag this and it moves even slower. Right. And I think that looks fine. Now what I want to do is maybe get rid of these edges on the side. We don't need them. So I'm going to go into edge mode, double click this one, hold down Shift, double click this one. Then I'm going to hold down Control and press Delete. There you go. And I also want to extrude out these corners um, just to make it a little more interesting. So let's go into face mode. And I'm going to grab uh, these faces over here. Here we go. And I'm going to grab the bottom ones as well. So I'm going to hold down shift, grab those ones. Perfect. And now let's extrude this. So click extrude. And I'm going to just give it a bit of thickness. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, next, let's give this a uh, straps or character or player has something to hold on to it with, right? So we can do that by adding a cube into the scene and uh, modeling that. So let's add a cube. I'm just going to move this off to the side. And I think the height is fine. I'm just going to scale it in a bit and scale it in a bit this way. All right. And now I'm going to move it off over here somewhere and maybe up a little bit. There you go. And what I want to do next is just Take a look at it. All right, looks pretty good. 
gonna move it over here. I'm gonna scale it in just a little bit. And what I wanna do is bevel these corners. Uh, first, let's delete the faces on this side. So go into face mode, and then I'm going to box select these faces and press delete. And then let's go into edge mode next. Select this edge, hold down shift, select this one, and click bevel. And maybe I'll just play with the fraction a little bit. I'm going to keep it fairly low poly though, so that's all I want. So I'm not gonna add any uh, segments. Right. And now what I want to do next is select this edge, hold down shift, select this one, and I want to extrude these out so that we can fasten this on with a bolt if we want to, right? So let's click um, Extrude. I'm going to press R to go to my Scale tool and just scale out this way a little bit. There we go. And now let's go back into Object Mode, select it, click Extrude, and let's give this some thickness. All right. Um, before we put this on here, we have some faces on this side that we won't need. So I'm just going to select these two and delete them. And now let's move this into place. Uh, maybe I'll scale it in just a little bit. There we go. And let's move it um, against our shield. All right. I think that looks pretty good right there. Now I want to... Um, I want to make a copy for this side, but before I do that, let's add a couple bolts onto here. So um, we can do that by using the cylinder. And what I'm going to do is just move it out here a little bit. We'll rotate it. So pressing E on the keyboard, I'm going to rotate it uh, 45 degrees, sorry, 90 degrees. And I'm going to press T on the keyboard. And we're going to drop the subdivisions to six. And for caps, I'm just going to do zero. I don't need them. And what I want to do now is just scale this down and I also don't need this uh, face on this side, so let's delete it. Turn off the grid so maybe it's a little bit easier to see. I'm going to go into face mode, select this face, press delete. And now um, we have an end gone on this side. It's easily fixed though, so I'll just show you. Um, it, for this it really doesn't matter, but if you want to fix it, just select your multi-cut tool and we can cut across. So um, because symmetry is on, we may need to turn it off first. Right? And we can just cut across. There you go, now we have quads. Let's go into object mode, and then let's move this against here. I wanna move it roughly into position and just scale it down. And then I'm going to um, move it over here, so. All right, let's check the thickness of this. Don't need it to be that thick, so I'll just bring it in a little bit and put it right there. And we'll need one for the bottom as well. So I'm just going to hold down Shift, click on this arrow, drag it down to make a quick copy. All right. And let's add a couple on the other side as well. It'll make the shield a little more interesting. So while you have your bolt selected, uh, press Control D. And then we'll move on to the other side. This one I'll scale up a little bit. And I want to rotate it 180 degrees. So go into your Rotate tool, hold down J, and rotate it so that's facing this way. There we go. And let's put um, a couple on these corners and one at the bottom. So let's move it up to here. Rotate it down. Move it roughly against our shield. And there we go. And for this one, maybe I'll make it... Um, a little bit, or I can probably just bring it out a little bit. There you go. And I think it looks fine right there. Let's hold down Shift, select on this, um, click on this arrow, and drag one over. We have one for there, perfect. And let's put one at the bottom as well. So again, hold down Shift. This time I'll just drag this plane down to here. And move it roughly to the center. There you go. Now, um, cool. Let's make, um, sorry, let's make a duplicate of this and put it on this side. And what I'm going to do is mirror it. So if you want it to be exactly where this one is, but on the other side, what we can do is select this, this, and this, combine it into one object. And then if you press, your, press W on the keyboard, this is your move tool and the arrow is facing this way. This is our X axis. This means this side is positive and this side is negative. 
So what we can do is just click the mirror tool and make sure it's mirrored in the negative direction of X. So it recognized it, perfect. And now we have one on the other side. And what we can do now is uh, select everything and let's combine it into one object. And now let's give this a little bit of a curve. Uh, Maya has a bend deformer, so select it, go up to deform, down here beside linear, sorry, under linear we have bend, select this one, and we have this bend handle. Um, if we open up the attribute editor and adjust it, you can see that it's bending this way, so we're going to need to rotate this. So I'm just going to exaggerate it, press E on the keyboard, and what I want to do is rotate it so that the bend handle is facing uh, this way. So let's hold down J and drag this till it's this way. Um, however, it also needs to be rotated this way. So again, hold down J and just rotate it this way. There we go. And now I only want to give it a little bit of a bend, so I'm gonna bring this back and here we go. And when you're done, just select your object and delete that history. So now here's our shield, and it didn't take us too long, and it looks pretty nice. Should look good in um, your projects. All right, so now you have a low poly shield to go along with your low poly sword. Hopefully you enjoyed today's tutorial. That's it for this one, but we'll see you in the next. This has been Digital Dreambox, your destination for game art.